Okay, well, I'm Craig, XRAF Regiment, um, wife Leanne, um, three children, Sophie, Kyla and Erica. Yeah, the girls came at 24 weeks. The consultant came and spoke to us and he said, look, you know, as hard as this is going to be, we need to put it in, in stone for you so that you understand it's going to be a roller coaster of a ride. I was Irish Regiment, did it for 10 years. Um, started off on a field squadron, going abroad, different war zones. We did have the old couple of scares where you'd see someone pitching up in a wagon with something mounted out the window or, you know, so we'd have to go out there with guns blazing and get rid. I mean, coming out of the forces is one thing, and having a pay scale that was up there to suddenly down there, and having to rely on benefits because you weren't able to get a job because of your disabled children, it's you know, it's just such a sigh of relief to, that we were put towards CAB, and it really did help, really did. They brought us in for an interview, uh, talked about uh, our expenditure and how much income we were getting. They also went into any benefits, because there were some benefits there that we didn't even know we were entitled to. And all the debt that we had in the past just disappeared after that. And they basically wrote off to all the debtors and said, these guys are going through a debt relief order, DRO, and uh, they cleared all the money that we owed. Not having to wake up every morning and worry about what person's going to phone and demand money, and you then worrying about how you're going to feed your children or pay for the uniforms. Yeah, that was big sigh of relief to be honest so it's another one of those things that we could push to one side and deal with the children rather than worrying about debt. I think personally that people should support the RAF Benevolent Fund because there are so many families out there in the forces in the RAF that even if they're not going through the exact situation as we are with disabled children and financial worries there's so many families that need the support um, and all they have to do is phone Benevolent Fund there's always somebody there on the other end of the phone to help them and give them the advice that they need. It just makes life in general happier for that service person so that he can get on with his job that he's paid to do for, the, for his country.